27 miles north of here, off of Halfway Rock on the bottom of the ocean rests the USS New Hampshire. And I'm sure many of you know her spikes were forged by Paul Revere. Three and a half miles from here is the USS Constitution. Good morning, I'm Woody Benson from Launch Capital. And over in East Boston, where Sea Machines is headquartered, was the home of Donald McKay, who built the US clipper ships. At the time, in the 1840s, a marvel of technology. And 1.5 miles from here is the heart of MIT. And combining all of this rich heritage and technology, we now welcome Sea Machines to Boston, Mass. As an investor, one gets to meet many different types of entrepreneurs. Never I've met a team like this, hardened, humbled, smart, and brutally honest. It's been a pleasure getting to know Michael and the team, and it's an honor for me to be a part and Launch to be a part of a round of capital bringing, launch, uh, bringing Sea Machines uh, to Boston. And it's gonna be a real pleasure to watch Boston grow to be a marine autonomy hub. Michael, you are a smart man to move your company to Boston, Mass, and we welcome you and your team. On behalf of Red Sox Nation, we welcome you. On behalf of Patriots Nation, we welcome you. And of course, on behalf of IT Nation, we welcome you. And, and it will be a real pleasure to work with you, welcome you, build with you, the marine autonomy hub of the future, Boston Mass, welcome Sea Machines. Hello everyone, good morning. I'm Michael Johnson, founder and CEO of Sea Machines Robotics. You know, the, you've seen the world is investing in everything autonomous. From self-driving cars to tractor trailers, even to autonomous delivery drones. And it's all because of the real value this technology brings in making operations safer, easier, and more efficient. You know, companies are spending billions and this technology is moving across most sectors, but there's something missing here. Something so vast, it's often overlooked. In fact, it covers the 70% of the planet that most folks will never see. A dynamic environment where really big things happen. It's also the world of uh, Captain Steubing and Captain Phillips. I'm talking about the massive marine and maritime industries. So at sea, there are large vessels that are moving around and are filled with fuel and they're carrying 90% of the world's cargo. That's why I repeat, 90%. But it operates with 20th century highly manual methods. And unfortunately that means there's accidents, there are fires, there are spills, and there's endless hours of tedium performing those everyday jobs. In fact, it's a setup for a textbook case for the classic targets of automation. Improving those jobs that are dirty, dull, and dangerous. And it's also the realm that we come from at Sea Machines. I'm a marine engineer and I've spent 20 years leading technical teams and complex projects around the world. One of them you see here was the salvage recovery of the stricken Costa Concordia cruise ship. Many of y'all watched it on prime time the day that we uprighted that vessel there in Italy. So I wrote the winning $1.3 billion bid for that project and it became a marvel of engineering success and it was the largest salvage of all time. And many of our team members actually came uh, are at Sea Machines are from this Costa Concordia project. But it's during the course of that project that I realized, you know, enough accidents, uh, we need an, enough inefficiencies in our industry. So while working on the cleanup of that, of that accident, I decided to leave my comfortable executive job and start Sea Machines and bring disruptive innovation into our major legacy industry. And big it is. I mean, in fact, it's huge. There are 20 million vessels plying the world's waters. 
And those owners spend a combined $1 trillion annually on their operations. But there's a subset of this market that is ripe for improvement. And those are work boats. These are your day vessels, you know, your tugs, your utility boats, your coastal patrol vessels. So at Sea Machines, we're bringing industrial grade autonomous control technology to the work boat class. They are the backbone of major industries, such as the offshore oil and gas, the new emerging wind farm industry offshore, the survey and the security fleets. By adopting autonomous technology, these companies can save 40% by automating those repetitive and often dangerous tasks performed by their crews. So we're providing a retrofit kit for existing vessels. This is an essential part of an early adopter strategy. You see, these companies, they're satisfied with their boats. These vessels are highly, uh, highly specialized. And they've been perfected over the decades. So we provide an immediate upgrade that provides real perceivable value. And it's the first step toward a major shift in our industry. So the sea machine te technology allows the crew to be removed from the boat and provides reliable vessel control from a remote station, be it on land or on a mothership. And it gives the boat a degree of self-awareness so that it can perceive other vessels around it, avoid shallows and hazards, perform complex marine tasks, all while the crew remains safe and out of the way. So at Sea Machines, we've built a world-class team. And we've done that by combining mariners with industrial control engineers and PhD autonomy scientists. And we're collaborating with MIT's CSAIL lab in furthering R&D into this important industry with advanced autonomous algorithms, bringing forward vessel-based machine perception, and self-system uh, self training through deep learning. So we've spent two years developing our Generation 1 technology. And the last year, you might have seen us plying the waters here in Boston Harbor, testing it almost daily. This spring, we're launching our beta product, and we've signed up pilot customers to trial it on both sides of the Atlantic. So we recently closed a round of seed funding led by Launch Capital. Thank you, Woody. And, uh, joined by Accomplice VC, LDV Capital of New York, and the Geekdom Fund of San Antonio. And we've built a really strong board that includes industry veterans from the shipping and maritime finance space. So the oceans of the near future will look much different than those today. Sea Machines technology will not only save money and lives, but it'll open the door to many new extraordinary applications on water. And folks, that's where you will find us. We're on the waterfront. If you didn't know the Sea Machine's name before today, it'll be hard to miss in the near future as we make Boston the hub of this new and necessary industry of marine autonomy. I thank you very much. <laughs>